Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, we are just gonna have like a old school chit chat video. I really wanted to just come to you guys today and talk about some like really good tips and advice before starting off your homeschooling year. Um, today, I had all intentions on sharing with you guys my um, get it all done video where I organized all of like my curriculum and I got my homeschool room together and um, I prepared for like my kiddos first day of school and all that jazz, but I really felt like in my heart, I wanted to post this video first. I really wanted to speak to that like first time homeschooling mom that's a little bit nervous about starting off their homeschool year. And uh, even me, you guys, even though I'm going into my fourth year of homeschool, I definitely feel like I have a lot to learn. I am definitely not a veteran homeschool and I definitely feel like um, I'm still learning, I'm still changing, I'm still evolving. I've made so many mistakes. <laughs> if you guys followed along my homeschooling journey and you just watched some of my older videos, you can see some of the mistakes that I made and um, I definitely want to give you guys some tips and advice just from my personal experience in starting off your homeschooling year. And I really hope that today's video will be like a sense of encouragement and um, it will give you peace in starting off your homeschool year. So you guys, my first tip of advice before starting off your homeschooling year definitely will be like my biggest tip of advice. If you don't take anything from this video, just take this one tip. Homeschool mom, dad, parent, homeschool educator, whoever you are, make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure you start off your homeschool year with your cup and your battery full. So however you fill your battery, um, self, whether that be like through self-care, prayer and meditation, exercise, if you like to read, paint, garden, whatever you do to fill your cup, please fill it up, fill it to the rim, and um, start off your homeschool year rejuvenated and refreshed. Homeschooling is definitely not a sprint, you guys. It's a marathon, and we have to be equipped and ready for this marathon. I definitely will say I have failed in this area all three of my past homeschooling years. I have neglected myself, and I failed to take proper care of myself. Um, I have experienced burnout in all of my three years of homeschool when I really could have prevented it from just taking proper care of myself. Uh, one thing I I definitely will say implementing my like Sabbath homeschooling schedule where I do that six weeks on one week off it really helped me last year in preventing out my burnout a lot more but I'm going to utilize my week off more effectively and I'm really going to take out that time to like recharge just take out one day for myself you guys and um, I encourage you to do the same take out that one or two or weekend whatever you can do for yourself uh, to make sure that you are not pouring from an empty cup um, trust me it leads to destruction really really fast um, so I am definitely prioritizing myself this homeschooling year. My second tip of advice is do not start off your homeschool year feeling overwhelmed. If you feel overwhelmed, more than likely you are feeling overwhelmed because you are not fully prepared. And um, as August is right around the corner, you guys, um, you will be seeing everyone starting their first day of school, the first day of school pictures. And if you are quite not there yet, ready to start your first day of school, wait until September, October, November. It is no race to when you actually start your homeschooling year. Um, especially for you guys who may have just had like new babies you added to your family, whether you um, have a chronic illness and you're not at 100% with your personal health, or uh, you may have had a death in your family, or just any personal circumstance that may be preventing you from starting off your homeschool year in August, please just take out that time for yourself, for your family. Um, it's not a race. It doesn't matter when you start or end. Really begin your homeschooling year, um, I guess, at peace and knowing that you are fully prepared to start. Um, that's one of my mistakes that I made in my first year of homeschool, you guys. Um, I was ill-prepared. I felt like because, you know, the public school was starting in August, I had to start. I didn't have all of my curriculum ready for uh, my oldest daughter in starting our first year 
homeschool, I really just put that pressure on myself to start just because I thought that was when I needed to start. And I really could have eliminated like that first month of being overwhelmed in my first year of homeschool if I just took my time and prepared everything. Um, I would have been better off just starting off in September, you guys, to really be honest. And um, I learned that mistake the hard way. My third piece of advice is at this point, we have seen so many like new curriculum uh, releases and we've seen a lot of people's curriculum choices and their plans and everyone's doing something unique and fun and different. And uh, it's so tempting at this point to really doubt your personal curriculum choices and decisions. Um, it's tempting to add in things that we don't need in our homeschool to buy this, to buy that. And I definitely wanna say, if you feel that, step away and walk back. While social media is fun and it's engaging and it's a really good tool for us to gain information and reviews and uh, new resources, I feel like if it's used improperly, we can definitely fall into a bad rabbit trail. You guys, I have had such a bad habit and addiction with purchasing too much curriculum. And this year, you guys, I have put my foot down on myself. I have um, told everyone in this house, my husband, my daughter, everyone in this house is going to help me, hold me accountable to uh, me not purchasing any unnecessary things that I don't need, especially when it comes to like curriculum. And I definitely will say, um, don't second guess your plan uh, for your homeschool. Uh, don't worry if your plan looks a lot different put your blinders on you guys <laughs> uh, don't worry about what sue or may or johnny down the street is doing you focus on you your homeschool your kids and that includes me you guys if i'm doing something different um, that's inspiring to you and uh you may want to try it or things like that stay true to yourself and your plan uh don't allow other people to influence your decisions in your homeschool you know you and your kiddos best and um, definitely uh, know that it's okay if you may do things a little bit differently than others. Uh, stay true to yourself and do not doubt your choices in your homeschool. Now, I definitely know it's times where, you know, you do have to make pivots and curriculum switches. And, you know, that's just a part of the learning process, uh, to really be honest, especially in your first years of homeschool, you're really kind of getting used to different curriculums and resources. You're still figuring your kids out. And I feel like those courses are inevitable. But um, if you already pick something, just try, stay true to it. <laughs> Don't worry what everyone else is doing and focus on you and your kiddos. My next piece of advice is before starting off your homeschool, at least one to two weeks, try to reestablish those routines that you have set in place, uh, such as like your chores, your bedtimes, your cleaning routines, really get your kiddos back into like that habit before actually adding in your homeschool. I really feel like it's overwhelming when you're trying to add in like your um, household systems and your chores and all of that along with homeschooling. So take out maybe a couple of weeks before starting off your homeschool year to reestablish those things in your household uh, and that includes you mom like for me um what i did was a couple of weeks before we actually started our homeschool year i made sure i did like a you know house reset where i reset it my home um i did like a few deep cleaning projects um i didn't totally like tear the house down you guys but i did tackle those main areas that i really wanted to like i deep cleaned my floors and my kitchen and um i targeted like those high traffic areas so uh when i it was time for me like to really sit down with my kiddos and start our lessons i wasn't distracted by you know seeing a counter that i wanted to clean or a cabinet i wanted to reorganize i really made sure that uh at least the things that was in hindsight for me i reset my home i made sure my laundry room wasn't looking <laughs> in shambles you guys i'm really bad about the laundry uh, i try my best but that is definitely my achilles heels in my home but i definitely caught up on laundry and i did all those little nitty gritty things so um when it came time for me to do my kiddo studies i wasn't focused on like my household chores that i had to do another thing that is definitely great to do is at least meal prep if you are not the type of person to meal prep at least have uh, a few meals are ready to go as far as like dinner lunch breakfast for at least your first week of homeschool you are going to be <laughs> very happy that you did that because that's going to be one less thing you have to use your brain power for um i'm not the best when it comes to actually like meal prepping knowing okay we're going to eat this monday 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But what I am good at is making sure when I go to the grocery stores, I have all of the items in my pantry to make, like whether it be like spaghetti or chili or stir fry or uh, whatever type of meal I want to make. I make sure I have all of those ingredients and um, I just pick whatever day we're going to eat it. And that works out for me. So if you're a little bit more loosey goosey with your meal plans like me, at least like have a plan because it definitely is helpful because at the end of, you know, my homeschooling day, you guys, like I'm done. I'm exhausted. I'm not trying to think about dinner. I'm not trying to think about anything. And to already have those uh, steps already prepared for me, it really helped me in starting back my homeschool this year. Um, my next thing and piece of advice will be is don't start off your homeschooling year doing everything really take it easy. Um, some people like to start off doing one kid at a time and starting off their homeschool. Um, everyone does it a little bit different as far as starting off their homeschooling year. For me, I like to start off just doing the core. That's like math and language and reading. And then I slowly add in like my history, science and electives for my kiddos. And that really has been helpful for me. And uh, I think I'm going to continue to do that. And um, whether, however your soft start looks, don't do everything. <laughs> <laughs> you are bound to fall really just slowly ease into your homeschooling year um, my next piece of advice and this one you guys I am working on so hard is to put your phone down especially when you are in lessons um, it really allows me not to be distracted um, in putting my phone down uh, I had a really bad habit with picking up my phone I had like notifications or comments that I was answering in the middle of like my lesson time and what I have been doing now is actually keeping my phone in a separate room um, and that really has been helping me out I mean I know some people may not have to go to that extreme but for me I definitely do I have to definitely keep my phone away uh, not have it there so I can be fully present for my kiddos in their lessons and then when it's my downtime of course you know I can do my little scrolling listen to my audible books and things like that but I definitely want to try to be more present and in the moment this homeschooling year and that's definitely something I am doing uh, my next thing is just to really document your first day of school uh, have fun celebrate it doesn't have to be all big and you know elaborate when it comes to like your first day of school you guys um, I really keep it simple when it comes to our first day of school I just like to document our journey um, one thing me and my oldest daughter has been doing since our first year of homeschool is every first day we have been making like homemade bookmarks and it's so much fun to make those bookmarks and then we use them throughout the homeschooling year and um, that's just one of our traditions we keep it really really simple I get each of the kiddos like one little special gift they see their new crayons and markers and things like that and you know that's pretty much it over here um, we make a nice breakfast so we might have like pancakes or cinnamon buns or something like fun or a treat we typically don't have but other than that you guys that is like our tradition um, I know you may see on Instagram like these big elaborate like first day parties and things like that and you don't have to do all that you guys just keep it simple celebrate your kiddos and um, have a great first day of school um, my next piece of advice and my last piece of advice is just to give yourself grace as you are kickstarting like your new homeschooling year. Um, it's definitely going to be some pivots and schedule adjustments and changes as you are getting used to like your curriculum and you're getting used to your flow. You may be adding in a kid um, in this homeschooling year. Really just give yourself and your kids grace. You will get back into the flow of things. It takes six weeks to form a habit. So just know if your first few weeks, your first couple of months feel rocky, it's okay. You guys will kind of get into your groove and get back into things when it comes to homeschool. Um, and you will make little pivots and changes and that's completely fine. Uh, just really just try to stay consistent and take it one day at a time. You guys, this homeschooling year, I have two words of the year. My first word of the year is for me to simplify. And uh, that was something I really have been working hard on is just to simplify our routine, our curriculum, our habits. My next word is to connect. I really wanna prioritize this year connecting. And we're connecting in three ways. We are going to be connecting with God, we're gonna be connecting with our family, and we're gonna be connecting with our community. So that is like, 
my homeschooling goals and my models this homeschooling year. And I really hope I can stay true to myself and I can stay true to my kiddos and honoring them and honoring our homeschool. So you guys, I really want to uh, let you know, um, don't be nervous. <laughs> it's okay if you're nervous and you got butterflies in your stomach, uh, you're fearful of the unknown. You can do this. We all are going to have great <laughs> homeschooling years. Uh, that's not going to eliminate the struggle or the, the down days or the sad days, but I definitely want to let you guys know you can do it. I can do it. We will have awesome homeschooling years. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.